What's up everybody and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It's your girl Jay here and in today's video it's all about turbans. I have been getting non-stop requests to do another updated turban video, some new styles, all of that good stuff. So I got some new turbans. Um, one of the turban brands that I'm gonna be featuring today is from Afro Accessories, which I will leave right here for you guys. They have awesome, awesome, awesome headwear. It's been long overdue. I should have been done this video, but I have just been dying over these turbans. They are absolutely stunning. I love how they look on my head and how I can style them in different ways because they're so big. And there's still ways that I have not learned to do them yet, but it's all a process. So I just want to come here today just to show you guys my favorite hairstyles to do with turbans and how I rock them and how I wear them and all of that good stuff. Don't pay attention to how it is right now. This is just the before. Um, I had this one on at church and I was all nice and comfortable. But before we even get started, if you were not already subscribed to the Face Over Matter family, please go ahead and do so so we can continue to grow. And if you are liking what you see so far, maybe just buy this turban alone, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. But if you learn anything or like anything throughout the video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up just so I know that you guys like these kinds of videos. And let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more of these hair videos. So for the turbans, if you have any other styles that you want me to try or any um, turban brands or something that you would like me to try or review, let me know down in the comments below. I do stroll through the comments and try to get you guys advice about upcoming videos and all that good stuff. So let me know what you want to see. And yeah, so if you're interested in how I do these turbans, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take off the one I got now. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to adjust my camera so it can get here and up because I know I could do this. Oh yes. Brace yourself. When I take this off, y'all, do not judge me. My hair, oh my God, my hair, it looks so horrible right now, but you guys have to be mindful. I don't do a lot with my hair unless I'm actually trying to get cute, but I had my hair picked out and of course it curled back up. And of course I got my straight pieces out here in the front which have been mashed by the turban. So my hair is looking crazy under here, but we're just gonna act like my hair is laid to the gods under here, okay? For the first turban style, just to, I'm gonna save the best one for last, okay? But just to get started, we are going to start off with one of the big turbans. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this yellow one. It doesn't really match my yellow shirt, but it's close enough. So this one, I'll put the picture from Instagram over here, somewhere over there, but I posted this picture on my Instagram a couple weeks ago and you guys really, really liked how I did the turban with that. Um, this one really isn't like the whole shebang up here at the top. It's more of the action going on down here at the bottom. But let me stop talking and just show you guys. So I feel like this one is the easiest out of all of them, I think. So this um, turban is from Afro Accessories. Oh, this would be a cool backdrop. But yeah, this one is from Afro Accessories. So what I'm gonna do is super long, as you can see, it's like a big blanket. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and even it out. And what I'm gonna do is kind of fix fix it on my head to where it's nice and centered. Um, I think when it's uneven, the more stylish it looks. So if it's uneven a little bit, it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a little bit of my edges out. They're not really doing anything right now, so I'm just gonna keep them chill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to turn myself around so you guys can see. Let me make sure my mic ain't gonna get ripped out. So when you get it all the way like this, I like to kind of tuck it together under here just so I can make sure that it's nice and secure up here. So just with any other turban, I'm just going to start by twisting it until I get it secure. Till it's nice and secure. Then what I'm gonna do is start to twist it. Just how I do with any other turban, I'm just gonna start to twist it. All right, so now that we're getting a little bit of length here, I'm gonna take one of the pieces and continue to do the same thing and continue to wrap it all the way around. Then once I have a little bit of piece left, I'm going to tuck it. That's going to secure my little bun back here. Or you could secure it with a bow or something if, you, you know, if you're not too confident. So now even with this one, it may look like, mm, that looks a little funny. So even if you want to wrap this one like one more time. I don't know about it. If you want to, I would say wrap it the opposite way. So even with that, you have your little side piece and your bun. Just to make sure it's secure, take that extra piece and wrap it. Now, of course, you wanna do your edges. Okay, I'm gonna take some Eco Styling Gel and we're going to go ahead and lay the edges down. I'm not gonna to do too much with them. I'm just gonna lay some gel down 
and you can get crazy with your sideburns. I know people do like those finger waves for the edges and stuff. Like I'm not gonna do all that. So this is look one with your little ponytail thing. Pull it to the back, wear it to the back. Just remember it's not weave, so it's not gonna lay how you want, but I think it's cute coming to the front. I love it like this. So this is style one. So y'all let me know what you think about this. All right, so if you're ready, let's go on hit number two. So for the other one that I showed you guys on my Instagram, I'll post the picture over here somewhere. This is the one that I had um, in that one, which is this one. And this one also is from Afro Accessories, but because I've already done one with that one, I'm not gonna do this one. So we're just gonna move on to the other blue one that I got, and I love this print. Ugh. So, but the thing that I'm gonna do is do a basic turban style. Just how I styled the other blue one on my Instagram photo over here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So this one is your basic styling turban thing. This one you kinda wanna make sure it's even. This one be a cute background too. This one you wanna make sure it's a little even just for turning purposes so you won't have a bunch of like leftover turban. And we're gonna, you know? Now since we got a lot of extra room, you kinda wanna tuck it in up here just so you won't have any like leftover turban. And then what you wanna do is just start to twist all of it together. Twist, 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 twist. Now, before I even can like finish twisting, I'm gonna show you another style just in case you have a head full of hair. Now, of course, I can twist it this tight and have it nice and bald, slick, because I don't have any hair right now. So this is for my girls who have short hair. I'm gonna twist, twist, twist. You can keep doing it this way. Kinda make it look like a braid, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna make sure it's tight here. But as I start to twist it, I'm gonna loosen it up. I'm gonna start to loosen it up as we go around and around. And that way it's gonna make the ball here at the top look a lot bigger. So instead of making it super tight, we're gonna leave it fluffed out a little bit and we're just gonna keep wrapping that baby. Now doing it this way, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit just because your pieces are uneven and then you got, you know, some pieces that wanna be mean and don't wanna stay and all of that. So I'm kind of doing, it's like I'm taking a piece and kind of wrapping it over top of the piece, if, if that makes sense. I'm kind of doing like a little wrapping motion. So once I get it nice and secure, I'm just gonna tuck it. All of these are just about tucking and making sure it's secure. Now you got a cute little ball up here. I love this kind of turban, I think it's so cute. And that's your simple turban bun, like that's your, I feel like this is women's go-to bun. But if you have a head full of hair, this one's for you. This is for my long haired girls who have a head full of hair who can't tie it that tight. So I'm just gonna take a shirt just because it's convenient and I'm just gonna plop that on top of my head. You can use another turban, you can use a smaller cloth, but I'm using a thick cotton shirt just because when I start to tie it, I don't want the fabric to be so thin that it'll match and make the ball super small. I want the ball to be kind of big up here. So that's why I'm using an actual shirt. It's gonna be a little more difficult to try and get it to squeeze. So, just as we did, I'm gonna take it. Also, this is for my short hair girls if who, like if you wanna fake, a, you know, having hair under here. You wanna make your ball nice and fat up here. All right, so here we go. Same thing. So with this, your extra covering that you have here in the middle, you kinda want that to cover this, of course, because you don't want your fabric showing, you know? So you kinda wanna have that kind of secured, and then you wanna go in and start your wrapping motions. So you wanna make sure it's tucked and covered. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start to twist it as if almost it's like a braid. I'm gonna twist and twist. I'm gonna do it like two times. You can do it as many times as you want, but I'm gonna do it like two times just so it won't get super tight. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the back. I'm gonna do it once, look, do once, and then one more time. Then I'm gonna wrap it back around to the front, and then this is where I'm gonna just start to twist and tuck, twist and tuck. Since this side is shorter, I'm gonna tuck this one first just so I can kind of hide any flyaways. But I'm gonna twist and tuck, twist, 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 make it nice and cute twist and we're going to tuck that one down in there too. And then that way you can get like a really nice updo like stylish turban like boom. Like I love this. And then again, you want to just finesse those edges, do whatever you want to do with your edges, but I really really love this style. I think this is so elegant, so 
please look at me like this is boom all right so this is the back if you guys are interested that's the back and we got the front all right so now let's hit look number three now is the suede. This one is from TrendyTurbans.com. This is a brand I have been promoting for for the longest time, y'all. Trendy Turbans, make sure you get yours now. I've seen this company literally start and seeing where it's at is honestly great. So if you ever see this Muse Beauty, like if you ever see this, I am so happy and proud of your success. I'm so glad that I could be a part and help with your success. It makes me feel wonderful that I could just be such a great help. Heel. It just makes me feel really good. Y'all remember how I used to do a tag to the back. Trendy Turbans always has like this cool thing. It has like this little socket thing that you can put your head in and they always have a tag to the back just to kind of give you direction of what's the front and what's the back. So tag to the back and see like I said this is kind of like a cap. You know what I'm saying? Like just kind of give you direction of where it should sit. Kind of give you some symmetrical stuff going on. It can fit right behind the ears whatever you want to do it makes it so easy so with this i'm going to pull it back just a little bit just a little bit for the edges to poke through i'll post the picture over here somewhere like always as you can see this is like an infinity type of thing like it doesn't have the two strands at the end this is what makes it interesting when it comes down to tying this so we're going to tie it just like a bow so what you want to do is pull your turban up to the top that's all you're doing just pulling it up next what you want to do i'm taking my left hand and grabbing the right side we're gonna bring them together, taking my left hand, grabbing the right piece. Now, just like with the bow, and after you have that, I'm gonna take my right hand, going in to grab the piece that's on the right side. So I'm kind of diving in, but going in on the same side. Not going opposite, not the opposite side, but going in that same side, and I'm gonna pull it through. This is gonna give me my little sort of like my little bunny ears type of thing. So as you can see, the little cap thing is sticking out. So what you wanna do is take that and make sure that's tucked underneath your knot or whatever, your little bow part. And this is where I like to perfect the bun, the part that's showing. You wanna tuck some stuff in, you wanna push it back as far as you need to, all that stuff to make sure you're good before you actually start tying it. Because once you fix it up here, you're probably not gonna to wanna to touch it. So now that you got your bunny ears, now what I like to do this part, as you can tell, is the part that's sitting on top of my forehead. This is the one that's gonna be swooping back, right? So what I'm gonna do is take this piece, I'm going to twist it, and I'm going to tuck it on the opposite side. This is the right side, I'm tucking it in on the left. Just the very end of it. Because having this hump right here is gonna help this piece look a lot fatter, a lot bigger, and a lot more flattering. So here, with this piece, I like to spread the fabric out just a little bit and we're just gonna flip that baby over now as I can see as I'm flipping I have a little extra product right here I don't like that so I'm gonna do is just take my finger and push the product push the fabric up into the turban that way I can avoid having the extra product so when I flip it over I'm good to go so now having that one piece what you want to do is just flip it over not too hard here you want to customize it however you want it to look tuck some pieces in make sure the sides look good now of course you still have like this open flap thing and you're like what in the world are you going to do with that all i do is kind of pinch it and i'm going to tuck it right into this piece right here i'm going to just open it up and tuck him in there now i'm sure there's other ways to do this i'm sure there's other styles other techniques to get that flap it took me so long to figure out how to do this but this is the way i do it and i really really like it so just to kind of hide where everything is i kind of fluff up the top just to kind of make everything pull together and just be really really nice so that's that's how i achieve my swoopy turban style i hope y'all really like it this is my favorite all of them are my favorite but i really enjoy wearing my turban like this i think it's so flattering it's so feminine it's so it's just really classy and i love turbans like it's just it's just ever since i found out about turbans it's just been a life-changing thing because anyone who has short hair knows if you're having a bad hair day especially if you're natural or even if you're relaxed and can't get to the salon your hair may look crazy so either you're wearing a hat or you're putting one of these on because if you have long hair of course you can probably slick it back put it in a ball put it in a ponytail whatever us short hair girls is just short hair or 
nothing because we don't have a whole bunch to work with so all right so i'm gonna see if i can piece one more look for you guys together and we're gonna go into look number four all right, so jumping into look number four. Again, this is another trendy turban. And then with this turban, I do this like on a regular basis. If I just like on the go, quick, easy, tie it up turban, boom, boom, boom. You have endless styles because it's so small and I know it's probably a little backwards to say, but because it's so small, you could literally do, oh yeah, let me hurry up and go girl. I gotta go to school. Oh, my God, I'm gonna be late for class. Oh my Lord Jesus, help me fall. I don't wanna be late. This is my last time. I'm gonna get rolled up if I don't get to class on time. All right, let me go. Turban on, out the door. And that's just your simple tying it. You know what I'm saying? That's just simple. But if you wanna get cute, honey, you can do the same thing how we did the other one. Tie your bow, make a little bow thing. Now with this one, instead of doing your regular twisty turby thing, you can easily go into this whole twisting, it's like a twist ball. So it's like I'm taking one bunny ear, twisting it, tucking it, taking the other twisty ball, Take that and tuck it on its same side. And then this here, you have like this, I don't even know what you call it, but it's so cute. Like, I don't know, it's just cute. I love these styles. But this is how I would do it. Super quick, super easy, tie your bow, twist, twist, tuck, tuck, boom, you're out the door. And this is how I do this turban. But I'm about to switch back into my yellow in five, four, three, two. So this is the completed video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love you all to no end. God bless you all. Thank you so much for coming to watch my video on today. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something. I hope this is something that you can take with you and create your own turban styles. If you did recreate any of these turban styles, please tag me on my Instagram at face over matter. I'll leave my Snapchat, my Instagram, all of that will be over there. I don't even use Twitter right now, but Instagram and Snapchat are the main things that I use right now. So make sure you guys follow me on there. And yeah, I would love to see uh, your recreations of the turbans. And let me know if you guys have any trendy turbans, how they're working out for you. I hope they're working great. But I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, God willing, I will definitely see you on my next video.